it is actually really late tonight. Um, I'm actually doing this vlog at 9.30, but I had to because I need to get something up because I have not vlogged in a while, so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. So, Monkey actually woke up really uh, late. He woke up at 9. We had put him down around, what, 7, honey? So he got up around 7, or went to bed around 7, woke up at 9 screaming. So I figured he might be hungry, even though he already had dinner. So we're feeding him right now. Uh, that's what we're doing. And then this one has eaten as well, and now is eating all the scraps too. What? Do you want the camera focused on? Hey, are you all done? Are you all done? Tell mama nicely. Say mommy all done. I love you, monkey. Oh, you want the camera? Can I have it? Oh, thank you. Nummy, nummy, in your tummy, tummy. So, he is probably gonna go back up to bed here in a minute. He's watching YouTube on my camera over there. You see my pile of clothes that I need to do. I will eventually get to that. So, he sees YouTube and KK and Baby J is on. Um, so there's that. And then, I, of course, I was sitting on the sofa watching it. And so, there's my heated blanket, which is a miracle. Say, miracle. I love it. Love it. And then... There's CJ. He's getting ready for work. Say hi. No. CJ. Hi. Bye. He's getting ready for work. I. That's a box option he's got. I have dinner in here. I didn't microwave it because it's simple and easy that way. All right. Ah, no cabinet space to do this anymore. All right. Hopefully that works. Have you got have all my plates? But I need to check this. It's like Latin beef stew, so it's thicker than normal beef stew. Which I like. Actually, I'm not a fan of beef stew, but I had a horrible experience with it. Which is why. So I think I'm going to put that on there for just a little bit longer. And then we should be good. And so I thought it'd be really good because it is a thicker stew just to have like it over rice. Um, okay, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm not doing much. CJ has found my heated blanket. Me He's so tired. I feel so bad for him. So I'm going to make him a cup of coffee. And that will help him out a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, you want to be on there? Will you speak? Speak to us. You're all done? Do you want Daddy to put you in bed, baby? Yeah, okay. Okay, da Daddy. He wants you to put him in bed. You don't want to sit down here for a minute? Oh, you want the camera? Here you go. Here's the camera. Here you go. She's playing with a little. Hi. Oh. Mm, no, you don't want it. See, not in my face, Mama. Good job. You played. Yay! So, Daddy is going to put what, baby in bed. Ready? <laughs> All right. So that's pretty much what that's gonna do. And I might do some stuff around here. I know I gotta get the laundry done. I have an appointment tomorrow that I've gotta do. So he is not happy at all, but he is going to go back to bed. I literally think that he just got up because he was hungry. So he had some food. He had rice and corn. I wasn't asking him some of the stew, but he's really tired. And I did give him a little bit of this. And it's like a cheese and tomato uh, bread. Not really sure what the name is. 
So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm with CJ goes off to work. I'll probably stay down here and I'll clean up the house a little bit. And then that's probably what I will do. You see it's shaking because I'm trying to take <laughs> a part of my camera off. And, yeah. I was trying to take this part of my camera off. So, and attach it back to... my stand. My stand did break so my stand cannot be used and I do have to go purchase a new one. I had screwed on the uh, one of the stuff to tilt it. Can't think of the name right now. And when I did it actually busted. Like completely broke. Give me one moment. So I will prob probably be getting a new camera, or not camera, but camera stand, eventually, not really sure when. <sighs> so yeah, I might bring up some of the clothes that we have down here. Man, the heated blanket, bless you, the heated blanket is amazing. He's so not happy. Hey, honey. Yeah, honey. Um, the stew? is in the yeah that thing so that's pretty much it I might fill you guys in on stuff a little bit later but right now I'm going to spend some time with my hubby alrighty guys so uh, I'm filming this video at 11.14, it is fairly late in the evening, obviously, um, so I was going to kind of give you guys an update and everything, I know it has, I have not recorded for quite some time, so some of my family on YouTube might just be curious about what is going on, and so I'm just kind of here to let you guys know. We've been having a deal, so the reason we haven't been on is we've had a lot of doctor's appointments, We've had a lot of just gross sickness going around. This other house is currently clean uh, because we kind of just cleaned everything out or just down my salt. We had the flu here, which was absolutely awful. Um, there was one day where back in December, on December 19th, I was scheduled to go to a hematologist to figure out what was wrong because my white blood cell count had been elevated for so long and when I got there a doctor had told me I did not look sick enough so she wasn't even going to bother looking at me she's the reception out, receptionist out and just kind of dismissed me um, I was extremely upset obviously I did call my doctor my rheumatologist who did refer me to her, I did let him know the situation and he did refer me to another person. Sorry, it was the 29th, not the 19th. So on the 19th, he referred, he had a, yes, let me start over. On the 19th, I had a, another doctor's appointment with a different hematologist and they're going to go over leukocytosis, exactly what it is, what our options are, and stuff like that. I did a little bit of research. From my understanding, it just means I've had white blood cell counts for a long amount of time, which is why we need blood work is to figure out why. And that's all I know. So I can't really explain it better than that because I, I don't know myself. So we did have we are looking into what that is. So hopefully it'll make me feel better because the symptoms from what I was reading about what it can cause, which is severe abdominal pain, nausea, um, it can cause tinglings in the hands and legs and give you headaches, which is something I've experienced and this would kind of explain all of it. So we're really hoping like we have an answer. 
Um, it's been a very, been very frustrating not knowing what is going on. And then after that happens, you know, I just wasn't feeling up to it. I actually was very upset that they just kind of brushed me off just because. So I didn't really record or anything. And then New Year's Eve came around, which was my, my husband's anniversary. It went great. It snowed here in Texas, which was absolutely amazing. I was so like, oh my gosh, what is this? So I was so amazed that it was actually snowing. Super excited. I wish I had caught it on camera. Tristan was not a fan of the snow whatsoever, but hopefully, you know, if it snows again next year, fingers crossed, that he will, you know, be more of a fan. And then come January 1st and stuff like that, we noticed Tristan had a cough. So come to find out he had the flu. It was awful. Because not only did he have the flu, but I got it soon after. <laughs> so the house was down, CJ was working, we were both miserable. So we basically stayed inside and that was that. It hasn't really been till today that we're kind of 100% because as soon as we got the flu, Cedar came in. And if anybody lives in Texas, they know how bad Cedar is. If you're in Texas, if you live in Texas, you're probably allergic to cedar. Just, there's just a chance. So, then poor Tristan got cedar fever after having the flu. It has been a crazy past few weeks. So, things are more settling down. So, we're starting to have a routine this new year. And so, we're going to try sticking on the routine and just kind of getting things done. There is... This week has been filled with appointments, except for Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday, Monday was Martin Luther King Day, so people weren't open, so I had no appointment. Tuesday, we actually had a freeze here in Texas, so they shut down businesses, and um, pretty much it was only major personnel like doctors, police officers, EMTs, firefighters that were out on the roads. My husband did have to drive home on the roads because he works overnight, but he did make it home safe. They did end up shutting down all overpasses here in Texas, or at least in Austin, that from what he had told me. Though, because right, he takes, he passes like two or three different overpasses and he said they were all closed. So, um, that happened. Today is Wednesday, and I did have physical therapy today. So that, that was fun. I usually get needled on Wednesday, but I did not get needled today. And I will make a separate video why, probably here in a few days. Um, I just gotta say, I am super excited for tonight, or I guess not tomorrow night, because Grey's Anatomy. I absolutely love Grey's Anatomy. It's my one show that I can watch, that I can just kind of, yeah. <laughs> I love Grey's Anatomy. If you're a Grey's Anatomy fan, comment down below and let me know. Um, and then tomorrow I also have a appointment as well and then Friday I have the hematologist so I've been busy all week and then Saturday I start working again which I'm super nervous about but super excited about too because I actually kind of miss being at work so that will be fun um so yeah that's basically pretty much all that's really been going on trying to think. Just trying to think. So yeah. Um, if you guys have any more questions or want to or have any suggestions for videos, 
comment down below and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.